Hello everybody. So stencils are a great way to make patterns and today we're going to make a squirrel pattern. We're going to make the squirrel pattern on this nice box so we can use it to make a nice gift box. We're going to just do the top here but you could do all sides if you want to. I'm going to fold this in so we can make uh, the pattern easily. So first thing we do is we're going to punch out the squirrel and so that we get this negative space left from the stencil. As you can see from this one, I turned it over and used the stencil on this side, but you can be you can feel free to use either side. I think I will stick try using this side this time. So taking a marker, any marker, it could be your own marker, it could be like a fat marker or a skinny marker, up to you. I'm going to use a skinny marker. And then we're going to quickly just trace along the stencil. So this is really easy. And you can do this, and you can decide to take it off and then color it in as you like, or you can just color it with the stencil so it won't go over the lines. And this, this makes it faster, so I'm going to do it this way. So you know what is super neat about this because the shag gear, it looks, it looks more like a squirrel's fur. So we have one, okay? And then we're going to decide where we want, do we want it randomly? Do we want it neatly? So if you want it randomly, I think it will look cute because squirrels tend to run around everywhere by themselves anyways. And we continue making that same pattern. For the whole box. You can even skip the outlining if you just want to color it in. That's okay too. And you can see the difference is with or without an outline. Maybe the one with the outline will look a little bit more neat. So that's how it looks without an outline. So maybe the one with an outline looks nicer. That's okay, you can go back and add an outline. nice and neat again. Um, just continue. And here's our last squirrel. We skipped all the parts in between so it's not so boring for you to see me color every squirrel in. But basically finished. It looks something like this. So we have all our squirrels on there. And I think it would be really cute with this squirrel pattern. It's just to have one nut. So decide a place to put your nut and just have make a like walnut shape there. You can put a couple of nuts if you like. Next we're going to make the eyes and for this you're going to need correction fluid because this is brown paper and we're going to make white eyes with the uh, correction fluid. So we take the correction fluid and we just big, big loop there. On every squirrel, we make a big gloop, circle gloop for the eyes. And now we have to wait for it to dry a little bit. Okay, so now our correction fluid, which is also known as whiteout, has dried. And that does not come with the kit, so you're going to have to buy it yourself. but Or find to ask mom if they have any at home. As she, if she has any at home. Next we're going to take a black marker and we're going to finish off the squirrel by adding a nose and eyes. So taking any old black marker, we're going to draw the tip of the nose and one dot for the eye. 
So do that for all the squirrels. You can have one looking mischievous, looking back this way, and you can dot one with the squirrel looking forward, or the squirrel looking upward, or the squirrel looking downward, and the squirrel just a little bit spaced out. And if you want, you could even make one happy. And this is our squirrel pattern for our box.